What's up? What's happening? We in this playoff thing today. I'm doing it a little different so Keezy don't get on my damn nerves. <laughs> but nah, we back with our NBA recap show. Going over all the events that happened in the playoffs so far. Surprise, disappointments, east-west brackets, injuries. Just a whole multitude of things to go over, man. So let's get right on into it. Y'all already know who it is and what it is. It's your boy Q Walker, a.k.a. Nephew Q. And I got my boy. KJ. Yeah, KJ yeah, yeah. with the good hair, as my son calls him, Kevin Hart. But anyways, we going to get right on, right on into it. Keezy, let's talk yeah. about the Western bracket. But let's start up top, man. You got the, the Phoenix Suns and the, the Pelicans, right? Yeah. You got uh, Devin Booker, who's, who's out for a significant amount of time. Um, B.I.'s stepping up. C.J. McCollum, you know, doing what he does. So... First and foremost, what do you think or how do you think this series is going to play out moving forward? And do you think we will see a Zion sighting? Uh, Zion? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I think they just going to shut down. He just shut down. He shut down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's done. Because, he, you know, he wants to play, but they said no. So, I mean, it is what it is at this don't point. Don't come back in here and mess up. We got what we got, bro. <laughs> we got going. Yeah, stay on over to you. Nah, stay on over, bro. You we don't want to be here anyway. Nah, we had like, this so. all season. Don't yeah. be trying to come in here and take. Nah, nah, nah. You nah. think we weren't going to make the playoffs? You try to sit out, mm -hmm. try to make your little injury last long. That's what he, that's what he did. Now that we got the train rolling, we don't, mm, we don't hey, need hey, all hey, the problems. Can I, can I get in here? Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. That's what he's like. Can I, can I get in here? No, 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 no. We ain't got no more seats left on the bus. We The bus is already riding now. But, you know, it's like a double dutch. They already got the swings going. And he trying to he trying to jump in. They're like, no, nope, no, nope, mm -mm, mm -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> it's ain't for you, bro. It's ain't for you. But uh, talk to me because you know CP three, that's your point guard. Oh. And you in, in in our group text that we have, you said we about to see if Chris Paul is what they said he is. Yeah, if he's really the point guard. If he's really the point guard. So yeah. what do you expect from not only him but the Phoenix Suns the rest of the series? Well. You know, Book is out two to three weeks. So, mm -hmm. he, Chris Paul got to step up. Right. Bridges got to step up. Definitely. Cam Johnson got to give him some more. Definitely. Campaign. Everybody got to do more. Everybody. DeAndre Ayton, especially. He played really good the last game. I think that's why they won the last game. But if I think if Ayton don't play good, then. Then it's a rest. So, Ayton has to step up, obviously, yeah. and be yeah. the number two guy. As they lead the series two games to one, mm -hmm. uh, as we're recording right now. So, you think. Is four one or you think uh, Pelicans can get another? No, nah, I think I think it, it'll go six or seven. Six or seven? Yeah, I think it'll go six because I think the Pelicans can get another one. You know, mm, so you think the Pelicans can get another one off? I of think them. Brandon Eagle can get hot. You know, and McCullum he can get hot and drop forty or something. Yeah, something that's true. Time. That's so, true. You know, I think they'll get one more. They'll get okay. So yeah. four two Phoenix. Four two Phoenix. Yeah, I think they'll still win the series okay. without Booker. I, you know what? I honestly thought you was gonna go the opposite way. I honestly thought you was gonna say, well, since CP 3s in control, they might lose this series. Now I got I got another upset coming. Don't okay. worry about this All one right. yet. I okay. got another upset. So let, let's go down to a, a series that has been up and down, very um, a lot of close contested games. The Utah Dallas series. Mm hmm. I don't even know what to make. To me, this is a Jalen Bronson series because I, I don't I, I, I don't know what to make of this series. Uh, Keezy, what you got for me for this Utah should have jumped on them when they didn't have a Luka. It, it should first. be too. It should have been 2-0, but go yeah, ahead, though. It should have been 2-0, but it wasn't. They let Jalen Brunson get 41. They let Jalen Brunson get a max contract. That's, yeah, they let him get some money. They got him paid. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, what they did. Yeah. Man, Donovan Mitchell, Utah just going to – I think they just had to just – that's what I was about to yeah. say. Like, what do they do with Utah? I don't, man, I don't know. What, what? To me, it seemed like, and I know this may be the wrong way of thinking. They brought in Dwayne Wade as a minority owner to try to keep to try to keep Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. Mm -hmm. That ain't gonna be good enough. Nah. But I will say this, Keezy. This is the only thing that they have working for them in their favor. Once LeBron retires, right? Mm -hmm. And I know people are gonna be, like, oh, what's LeBron got to do? Just hear me out. Once LeBron is done. Mm -hmm. Who is going to dominate the NBA? Who, who's the next dominant player? Because you think about it. Since the 1980s, let's just start from there. Mm -hmm. Magic Johnson, Larry Bird dominate the 80s, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Jordan, 90s. Say no more, right? Mm -hmm. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Early 2000s, it was dominated by Shaq, Kobe, and Tim Duncan, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. 2010 to, to, to now, you have Steph Curry and LeBron. Mm -hmm. Who's dominating the next 10 years? Well, it's got to be Tatum. It's got to be Donovan Mitchell. You know, and that's my point. Yeah. It's, it's so wide open that there's not one Giannis. player. Well, there's Giannis, you're right. 
there's not one specific player that you can say is probably going to dominate the NBA for the next 10 right. years. So it's right. probably going to be wide open for the next five, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing Jazz got working in their favor is that they still going to have a chance because there's no dominant player like this has been. But I don't see them putting enough, enough pieces around Donovan to, to make any of Portland Trailblazers part two. <laughs> that's what it's going to be. Yeah, they might as well just blow it up while they can, I guess. But, I don't but, know. But how, that's what I'm saying. But how can you blow it up? I mean, you got Donovan. You got um, Rudy, Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert a lot of money. To do what? I don't know what he's doing. He got live yesterday. I see him at the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah game. whoop the fucking dude. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. I mean, you can find any power forward center. To Somebody can do that. Pick and roll, get to Nick, the... <laughs> Nick Claxton can do that yeah. for Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? He can catch a lot. Nah, that's, that's nothing. But I guess he's a defensive player of the year, so I guess, yeah, I guess it works itself out. But yeah. they can trade him and get more pieces, and I feel like they would be a, a better team. But yeah. Luka played one game, and the series is tied. So for Dallas, it's a win so far. So, so now they got Luka back. They got three games left. So... Somebody hit me with this trade proposal before we go to the next mm -hmm. topic. They mm -hmm. said, I'm going to put this over to you. Golden State gets Rudy Gobert. Utah Jazz gets Andrew Wiggins, uh, Justin Wiseman, and a Take first that, round Take that, throw it in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> throw it in the trash can. <laughs> throw it in the trash can. Throw it in the trash can. That'll never happen. That'll never happen? Nah. nah. I, Golden State will never do that. Nah. Nah, Golden State is giving up way too much for that. But um, speaking of Golden State, man, and, and, and Jordan Poole and the whole – Death line, the, the new death, death lineup the that death they got up. with Draymond, Poole, Clay, Steph, and Draymond. Like, talk to me about Golden State. They look like they hey, are man. the favorites right Golden now. Golden State look good out there. Is, is it? Is it that they look good, or are they just Denver Nuggets is a bad matchup? I wouldn't say if anything, Denver got the advantage. They got Jokic. And they no. don't have any they're supposed to not be able to have anybody that can guard you because they don't because Golden Bruh, State don't really have a big man. It's hard to guard when you run it through forty five thousand picks and you know what I'm saying? like Jokic is tired by the second quarter, bro. Hey, man, I ain't nothing I can do about that. He spent by the second. He's like, bro, I, I ain't training for this. He's that, you know, Draymond's out there being physical, playing all the mind games with him, poking him, <laughs> poking him in his back and everything. Yeah, everything. And, yeah, I know, bro. So. I'm, I'm with you. Denver wasn't going to make a lot of noise regardless. Yeah. It didn't matter what matchup they got into. But for me, Golden State is probably looking like the favorite right they now. They look like the favorite right now. Especially with Booker being injured, they look they look. Oh, really man. Good so, right yeah, Golden State. Um, another matchup where the last show we did, we was talking about the play-in matchup. Mm -hmm. And this is the matchup I wanted to see mm -hmm. because of so much young talent, yeah. which is you have the Memphis Grizzlies and the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. The high score team in the league, Minnesota Timberwolves. But one of the worst defensive teams in it. But anyways, anyways, easy. Talk to me about this Memphis and uh, Minnesota Dang, matchup. This my favorite. This my it's, favorite it's your, series. It's right your here. favorite series, right? It's here? a lot of a lot of grittiness, a lot of back and forth, a lot of a lot of jawing. Lot of jawing. Yeah, it's, they, it's they even got good. the parents jawing the, each other now. Uh, the the, the, the dad back and forth on the sideline. Oh, it's good. It's, it's I, entertainment. I love, I love. You got Pat Bev out there. Doing, doing what he does. Doing what Pat Bev does. Out there running around. Yeah. And then you got you got them, you know, sub and tweet each other on Twitter. Yeah. You know, when Carl Anthony Towns is like, we in Minnesota now. Yeah. And then, you know, the Memphis Grizzlies won and Jot tweeted at him. Yeah, we in Minnesota now. Yeah, we in Minnesota too. So, I, yeah, I'm with you, Keys. I like this. I hope this is a, a, things, a, a sign of things to come as far as like a rivalry matchup mm -hmm. for the next at least two to three years. Yeah, because these two teams ain't going nowhere. They're going to be. Yeah, and, and they're young. Mm -hmm. A lot of young players. A lot of them on rookie contracts still. Yep. You got Josh still on rookie contract, which he's not going to be on for much longer. Yeah. Ant Man, Ant -Man. Um, who who on the, uh, uh, Dylan Brooks, uh, Dylan Jaren Brooks. Jackson, Bane, is Bane. Yeah. So you got a lot of young cats. I, I'm with you, Keys. I, I don't care how this. End, I just wanted to go seven. So here's my. I'm gonna go out on the limb on this one. Okay. Who you, I guess you not really because the series is tied. It's tied too. I'm gonna two. take the Minnesota Timberwolves in seven. Wow. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. <sighs> Because John Morant was injured for he missed what twenty games. It was more because they were they were twenty and five without him in the lineup. And I still don't think that he's got his full game back. back. Okay, he's real inefficient out there. He's he's playing. He's scoring the ball, but he's not efficient. He's taking twenty shots and you know and all taking that. twenty shots to get twenty five points. Yeah. yeah, I got you. I got you. And if it hadn't been for Bain, he saved them the last two games to help keep it close. I think he had he had seven threes one night and hit. Six or seven other night. What do he have? He had a. Uh, what do you do over? Bane had 26 in one game. He had 30, 30 something in the other game. Come so, on, I mean, man. you know. Come on, man. 
But that's what he's supposed to do, though. That is what he's, supposed, what he's, to what he's supposed to do. So but you, Minnesota's have... only gonna go if Towns plays good. Minnesota can win. Why is he so? Why is he been so up and down this series? I know it's four games, but you know, one game he's he's foul trouble, like the best in the league. And the next game he looked like he's a backup. But yeah. what was that? Was it game two? He had like ten points or something like that. Game one he had twenty nine and thirteen. Okay. Minnesota won. Right. Game two he had fifteen and eleven. He's in foul trouble. They lost. They lost. Game three he had eight and five. Oh my he God. was in foul trouble. They lost. I think he only took seven shots. He was no. I remember game. it was he was three for five. It was the lowest career. Five shots. Five shots. Three for five. Last night he was had thirty three and fourteen. They won the game. So, the, so basically the series, like you said, the series goes how Carl Anthony Towns go. And uh, old boy, uh, D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He's out there. He's been, he's on the team. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> if they got if they can get fifteen to twenty from him and get they twenty, I think Anthony Edwards averaging 24, 25. Mm-hmm. They get they twenty four twenty five from him and Towns get twenty four twenty five. I mean they good. But if they get that from him, like you said, this is over in the next two games. Yeah, but they ain't getting nothing. But they, from him. He's out there. Yeah, he's out there running around. He's out there. I can do that. I get well, my well, cardio up. Well, Westbrook said, he, man, he got y'all food. Got everybody food. Out there running around. around. <laughs> <laughs> running he said around that, 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 that he, man, he got yeah. y'all food. He's just out there running around. So you say Phoenix is gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Who would you say the Detroit? I mean, the Dallas, Utah. A Dallas. Dallas. Okay. Yeah. Da- no, Lucas back. They going back home. You know, I take. I take. You Dallas. take the Lucas. Okay. You yeah. take the Dallas, Lucas, and the Gold State, Denver. That's yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's a wrap. On and that. then you got Minnesota in the last seven. Minnesota in seven. You know yeah. what? Let me get Memphis in seven. Okay. I think that's the only one we'll probably disagree on. Right. Let, let me get Memphis in seven in that series. Now, let's go over to the side that everybody has been talking about. East side? The East side matchup. Um, Keys, let's just start off at the top. Uh, 1-8 matchup. The Atlanta Hawks and the uh, Miami Heat. Miami Heat! There it is. There it is. They up 2-1 after Trey Young. Uh, Iceberg Trey hit that floater to give them the... the the win. Why why are you shaking your head, Keezy? Because Miami was up 15. Ain't no way they should have lost. up 11. Playing around. Playing, yeah. There you go, playing around. Yep, in the fourth. There you go, playing around. Thank you. You got this. Oh, man, this is just Atlanta. So, Boston is playing some really good defense on KD, right? Right. Miami is playing some really good defense on Trey Young. Right. I think Trey Young got a lot of people fooled, too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's out there thinking he's Steph. Nah, you ain't that. You he's you, not that you, guy. you a lot of things. Yeah, but you he's ain't not that. Steph, yeah. But you you ain't. I mean, that. I like him. He's good. Great value. But Steph, he's Steph. not. He's not Steph though. He's he's the check pocket Steph. Yeah, that's I mean, that's who he is. I'm right there with you. Um, I don't think. I think we put too much expectations on Trey because, I mean, let's state the obvious: short, light skinned guy who can shoot, small guy who can shoot. Yeah. That's basically where the comparison ends. Can Trey Young shoot? Of course he can, yeah, but like Steph, can. hell no. Nah, but then again, can't, who can shoot like Steph? Nobody. So, so I get what you're saying, but at the same time, I think people put too much expectations, expecting him to be similar to that instead of just letting him be who he is. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm with you, Keezy. Miami Heat. I, I think um, that last game kind of woke them up a little bit. I think they took the the Hawks too lightly in the fourth quarter, like you was alluding yeah. to. They had him. They had him. Yeah. This should have been a sweep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It should, yeah. It should have been a sweep. Yeah, they should be up 3-0. And I think they got Miami's attention now. So, I don't expect my, uh, the Hawks to get another game off of them. I think it's just done. Yeah, I think it'd be 4 yeah. So, let's talk about <laughs> the Philadelphia 76ers and the Toronto Raptors. The Toronto Raptors just got a game off of Philly uh, the other day. They up 3-1, but we know what Doc Rivers does with 3-1 leads. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Not in the first round. Man, nothing. Not in the first round. No, he lost, he, when he was with Orlando Magic, he lost a 3-1 lead. So yeah, that's true. They know but not this year, though. Not this year, okay. Not this year. So, uh, he's, he's up 3-1 against the Toronto Raptors. What, what's next for this series? Uh, 4-1? It's 4-1. It's over. Tyrese Maxey, Joel Embiid. They the story. James Harden is just... James Harden. Yeah, he's just out there just... Fooling people again? For you fooling yeah. people? It's Tyrese Maxey, Embiid, Tobias Harris. Them dudes are the ones that's been... That's More so Tyrese. I have been, I have been thoroughly impressed with dude. Yeah, he's I, quick. I've been thoroughly impressed with man. Um, I actually think, and I know people are going to be like, bro, how are you going to say that? The pecking order to me mm-hmm. should be Embiid, Maxi, and then Harden. Yeah. That, that's, I feel like it should be like that. I feel like Harden, get your, get your points when you can, but facilitate to Embiid and Maxi. Um, what's going on with Harden? The, the same thing that's always going on with him is playoff time. 
You right. you right. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I asked you that. Time, I, I don't even you know, know why I asked you that, mommy. Let me shrink on down to back down to size. You, you right. I don't know why I asked you that. I, I do apologize. I'm I sorry. You, I forgot Doc Rivers and James Harden. But anyways, so you got Toronto and Philly closing that out four one. Then we go to uh, Charlotte and Milwaukee. Um, Chicago. Not Chicago, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah Chicago. Yeah. I, was, I was like, hold on. So Chicago just got a game mm-hmm. off of Milwaukee the other day. Yeah. Um, they're playing as we're recording the show today. They're playing today. Mm-hmm. So this obviously is going to change. But two one. What happens next, Keezy? Whoo! I think we're going to end up. I think it's going to end up probably going seven. Because Chris Middleton. Because Chris Middleton's out. Yeah. Okay. And if Giannis, and if Giannis has a bad game, I don't think they can get enough scoring from. From, from the Bobby rest of Portis, uh, Drew Ray. Holiday's too up and down scoring wise, so I don't know, man. I mean, it took Grayson uh, Allen. What did he have? Twenty seven. It was a game. Grayson Allen ball. I mean, so uh, Lopez. I, yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't see. I don't know, man. Keezy, this one. This one's. I don't know. I don't know, Keezy. I yeah, don't know about this one, man. If DeRozan can be efficient, then I mean, Chicago got a chance, but because they do have. Chicago does have, even though they're a six seed, they do have firepower. They got DeRozan, Levine, Vucevic, so they do have some. I mean, they were the number one seed at one, at one time. point. Yeah, so yeah. they do have some firepower. But will Milwaukee's defense be able to stifle them enough to let Giannis do what he can do in order to be the X factor in the series? You know, I don't think that it's really been it's really been the defense. Like in Game One, mm-hmm. they missed like they had a lot of open, open shots, shots and just right. missed. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know. It's you know, it's a make a miss lead. That's, that's what, what they say. Make a miss lead. So who you got? I got I got Milwaukee. Seven games. Six. Seven. Six. Six or seven. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good series. I, I mean, I wish everybody wasn't injured. Oh, um, yeah, these injuries make it tough. If Middleton, if Middleton was there, I'd say Milwaukee sweet. in five. Sweet, but you know, sweet. But sweet, get the brooms. Get out. the brooms. Out. I'm, I'm with you, man. Giannis, I believe he's gonna have to, obviously he's gonna have to step it up. Um. But let me let me get Milwaukee in this series. I get them six games, four what four two. Yeah, four two. Yeah. I, but if Lonzo Ball was playing, would you give the Bulls a chance? Like say Chris Middleton was out, but Lonzo Ball was still playing. Would you give Chicago a chance to win this series? I still say Milwaukee in seven. Milwaukee. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm still gonna take Milwaukee. All right. You just because they got Giannis. You just don't like Lonzo. And Ball. nobody else has Giannis. Right. So best player in the league. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, no argument for me. I go with that. You know, I know. I, I mean, from what we seen from the guy we about to talk about next, Giannis is clearly. But anyway, let's talk about this Boston and Brooklyn matchup that is the got drama. Everybody talking about it Man. because it, Boston is up 3-0, which I don't think nobody expected them to be up 3-0 no. against the um, Brooklyn Nets. Keezy. Yeah. Uh, the floor is yours, man. What what the hell is going Let me on? See. What the hell Let me is going on here, here, man? So I know everybody's on Brooklyn's case, but Brooklyn should have been up two nothing in this series. Okay, they had game one. Mm-hmm. They was up, I think. I think they was up five with a minute and a half left. Mm-hmm. They blew that. They did. They got jumped out to a big lead in game two. Right. Blew that. Blew that. And then last night they just got beat. <laughs> they just got beat last night. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even say they got beat last night because it was pretty nip and tuck. I mean, I think at, by halftime, I think they said it was like eleven or twelve lead changes. Yeah, so it was a, it was so the, it was right there. It just that for whatever reason that fourth quarter they can't win the fourth quarter. Jalen Brown got hot. He got cooking. I think he scored like nine points in the he fourth did, quarter. He did the same thing in game uh, game two. And I think that might be the strategy. Yeah, let Jason Tatum one through three get us there, and then. Jalen Brown, JB, you gonna do your close thing. Close him out. I think that might be the, the move going forward. But um, go he's, ahead. he's catching the ball up at the top of the key, and whoever's guarding him, it don't matter. He just take him. He take him to the hole where he's shooting. What, what, what Shaq say? Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken alert. <laughs> barbecue he's, chicken. Hey, he's just because he's finished. He's making tough shots around oh, the rim yeah. too. He's finishing everything. Hell yeah, he's making a lot of contested shots, but. Like you just mentioned, he gets the ball at the top of the key, and they pretty much space everything out. Yeah, and let him go. And let him go one. Um, and he is cooking. Tatum, Tatum was Tatum was killing last night. He took a lot of shots. He took a lot of bad shots, but I mean, what did he had last night? Tatum had thirty nine points on thirteen to twenty nine from the field. He shot thirteen threes, made one. See, I, I, I and see, I, I mean, made that. four. Sorry, I hate that when you're off from the three point line that much. I know shooters shoot. I get yeah. it. 
but come on, bro, bring it in a little bit. Yeah, come on, come on, bring, 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 bring it in a little bit. Let's get some of these twos popping. So, Keezy, man, um, let's talk about Katie and Kyrie. What what the hell is going on with this? What, what is that? Let's see. Game one. Okay. So we know we know Kyrie's fasting for Ramadan. So right. no no food, water, nothing. Sun up to sundown. Right. Which. I don't know how a person played basketball like that. Hey man, I, more power to you, Kyrie. Yeah. But I, I, I personally couldn't do it. Nah. But more power to you and everybody else who. Yeah. You know, I, I it's, it takes strong willpower. Yeah, I don't buddy, think I have it. In I it. don't. I know I don't. So I don't. let's look at game one. Okay. Celtics win 115, 114, Right. By the last second layup by Tatum. Yes. So Durant had 23 and four on nine of 24. Mm, one not, for five from three. That's not efficient. Kyrie was out there balling. Though. He had 39, right? 39, okay. five and six. He had 18 in the fourth quarter. So he did what he was supposed to do. He did his thing. And they lost <laughs> on the last second shot. <laughs> and that ha- that has to like break your your like your spirit so much. They was down. They fought back. Got the lead. Thought they had the game won. Mm-hmm. And then you lose on the last second. Spin a Rooney layup. That's what I was. It, it's how they lost, bro. It's how they lost. Everybody was scrambling on the last play as far as the net Brooklyn Nets. Everybody was uh, scrambling defensively. And Marcus Smart, he does the pump fake. Two people ran at Marcus Smart for what? I guess they thought he was Steph Curry from the three-point line. Two of y'all? But first of all, I'm not running out there because, for one, they don't need a three to beat us. Yeah, they need a two. They need a two. So why am I running that? I'm running them off the line. Like, you going to – okay. But anyway, um, Mark is smart. You know, gives the head fake. Jason Tatum cuts. He you know, dribbles in a little bit, gives him a pass. He catches it, spins. Boom, layup. KD was looking this way. KD was stuck. Jason Tatum cut right behind him just cut like Cut right this. behind him. Kyrie goes. Keezy. Yes. I thought I was taught, mm-hmm. ball you man. Yes. Where the hell was KD looking? It looked like they were playing some kind of zone almost. But how, when I but look how, at the play. But how was, because KD was so far up. KD was up. There was another There was another guy up right around the free throw line also. And then when uh, Smart was over there on the wing, then that guy and I think it was Claxton, they both, both ran that okay. way, and then that started the. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Because Kyrie was just in the middle of the paint, and just that's and that's why I was wondering because Kyrie was he he had dropped so far down, and mm-hmm. I was wondering like why did he drop? But I guess they was loading one side of the floor. Yeah, it, I guess it was but. weird looking, but I mean, come on, Kyrie, foul him or something, Grab do anything. Him. Yeah, do something. Make him earn it at the line. Because you know when you go to that free throw line and the popcorn smelling, and yeah, you just you know you get you up start like shaking that, a little bit. You know everything <laughs> tighten up on you. You, start, you never know what might happen. But because uh, on a play like that, bro, I'm grabbing you. Yeah, I gotta foul you. I got to foul you. Yeah. You six nine, and I'm six two. I gotta foul. Hey, you. if you that dude, prove it. Yeah, let me see. Get to the line. Yeah, show make, me. Make them both. We'll go home. If show you miss me. One, we're going to overtime. That's why I got the worst case scenario. We lose. Best case scenario, he hits one. We go to overtime, but yeah. we still got a chance. Yeah, and I've been cooking the whole fourth quarter. I got eighteen. So Give me the ball. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Give me the ball. I take us home. So yeah. I don't know what KD was doing on that play because, like you said, he was caught looking at the ball, forgot all about Tatum. Tatum makes a dash to the basket. Marcus Smart sees him. Kyrie comes over, but he just spins off of him. Layup, ball game. Game two. Go ahead, Keezy. Game two, what we got? The Celtics had seven players in double figures. Balance. Tatum had 19. Horford, 16. Daniel Tice had 15. Jalen Brown, 22. Daniel Tice. Grant Williams had 17. Your boy, Lil Peyton Pritchard, he had 10. Love that little dude. He out there balling. He out there taking people out of the dribble, step back. <laughs> Give me that. Like he's Here's doing. another game that the, the Nets should have won. They were up big in this game. They were. I thought I went, watching this game, I said, "Okay, here we go. This here is we the, go. This, this is a real series. This is right? the Nets team that I was waiting to see." And then down the stretch, what happened? They failed again in the fourth quarter, just like always. Fourth quarter failures. KD had twenty-seven points on four of seventeen shooting. Kyrie, what do you do? He went back to the locker room. What do you at do? The end of the first quarter, I guess the sun went down, it so did. he went to get something to eat. I remember he came out with some fruit. He had ten points on four of thirteen. You should have stayed in the locker room. If you're going to do that, stay in the locker Keep your ass in the locker room if you're going to do get that. Get your IV or something, dog. You get your IV. Four or 17. So, we're going to break down game three. Then after we break down game three, I want you to give me your assessment on what the hell is going on with KD. But game three, what happened last night in game three? Uh, Jason Tatum Jason show. Tatum show. Yep. Jason the Tatum Jason Tatum show. Jason Tatum show. He, he killed him. He ate their lunch. Yeah. Jason, hold on. Jason Tatum show for the first three quarters. And then the end credits, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Let me take over again. Tatum had 39. 13 or 29. 
13. don't like that. I don't you know. like that either. That's but okay. Jalen Brown had 23. KD has 16, 8, and 8. He only took 11 shots. If it weren't for what's his name, Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown. He had 23 in game two. He had 26 last night. So he's a You know who best took player. the most shots? Bruce. Bruce Brown. 19 shots. Kyrie has 16 points on six of 17 shots. Hey, Bruce said, if y'all ain't going to do this year, give me the damn Just let me go. I'll 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 try. (laughs) I'll I'll shoot this year. Y'all act like y'all scared of him out here. I'll shoot the ball. Steve Nash ain't making no adjustments. Steve Nash got the best seat in the house. He just stand up and point, run up and down the sideline. And sit down. Got a courtside seat for nothing. And sit sit right back there. Yep. Ain't pointing, ain't telling the damn, ain't telling the damn play out this point out there. But remember, Kyrie said we don't need no coach. We don't need a coach. So yes, they do. No, no, they don't. Yes, hell, they do. They need a coach. They need one bad. No, they don't. Kyrie said they don't need one. He's Kyrie, a coach. KD's a coach. Kyrie also said the earth is flat. <laughs> Kyrie also said that uh, COVID-19 is not real. Mm-hmm. Um, he said a lot of stuff. He did. He did say. You know what else he said? What's that? He also said uh, <laughs> Kyrie Irving on teaming with Kevin Durant. <laughs> First time in my career I can trust teammates to make a big shot. Not in this series. Uh, was he talking about Bruce Brown? Not against this defense. He, he's talking about. He's, he's talking, talking about Bruce Brown. He's talking about Bruce Brown. Or maybe maybe Goran Dragic. Maybe he made, he made a lot I, of shots. Because in this series, I don't know who he's talking about trusting to make a big shot. It ain't it ain't Slim Reaper. I know so, that. So 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 they don't need a coach. Nope. He got a guy he can finally trust to make a big uh-huh, shot. Uh-huh. And that has resulted in a three o oh, three for for the yeah. Brooklyn Nets. Yes, yeah, they down they down three games to none. So before we talk about Kevin Durant, right? Uh-huh. After the, the toenail game last season, mm-hmm. last playoffs, all I've heard from people in the Beyond the Game group, oh, Kyrie was hurt, uh, James Harden was hurt. If they wasn't hurt, they would have blah, 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 yakety smackety. Okay, James Harden's gone. Kyrie is probably the healthiest player in the NBA. <laughs> and yet they down 0-3. So what's the excuse now for Kevin Durant? What, what, what is it? He, hold on, hold on. He got the coach he wanted, right? They wanted Steve Nash. They, he ain't even a coach, but why okay. would they even want? Go ahead. They got the figurehead. Uh huh. They got the. They wanted to go to Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. He got the teammate he wanted in Kyrie. Mm-hmm. So basically, Kevin Durant has everything he wanted. What the hell is the problem? You ever been in a relationship and you you see this chick and you're like, damn, she look good. Okay. I want her. Okay. Then you get in a relationship with her. Uh huh. I don't see, think I want this no more. You see why she was single to begin yeah. with? When she get on your damn nerves. Man. You're like, God damn. She don't cook. She don't clean. She, she do don't. She don't. She, what, what does he do? Why am I here? Well, shit. I done made a mistake. I done wasted three years of my work. life. It's, then I got to figure out how I can, you know, start an argument. So I, I need break an up escape plan. I got to figure out how to break up with him. That's what they going through right now. I got Kyrie's. I got to figure out how to break up with KD because this ain't working. But let's talk about KD and his struggles right now, man. Mm-hmm. Um, as I put the graphic up, nineteen shots, nineteen field goals. 17 turnovers. So he has he has made two more shots than he has turnovers. Keezy, what, what's going on with KD, man? It's that defense they got on him. He don't know what to do. He's out there discombobulated, he, and he don't know what to do. Turn the ball over. He can't score. Can't get his shot off over Tatum. Now, Tatum is with Tatum, 6'8", 6'9". Mm-hmm. He probably 6'9". He long arms. Right. So he's right there in KD's pocket the whole time, but he got KD out there looking, looking slow silly. and old and and a lot. Yeah. And a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. kind of sad to see. You know, it's like a boxer when you know that he can't fight no more. And he out there just he taking, just, you know. Yeah, he just out there just throwing anything yeah, it's out there. it's pretty sad to see, but, you know. Yeah, it is. I don't crazy. know if the injuries have caught up to him and all of that or if he never. He did have an Achilles. You know what I'm saying? But that, that was two years ago. Kid. That was two years ago. But that's one of them injuries you may not ever come You're back right. to your old your self. Your old from. self. You're right. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it's just. The drama from the whole season just done worn on him. I, I would say, but see, we can't use Achilles because he killed all season until he got hurt again. Did he really, though? Yeah, he was the MVP front runner at one point. He who? Was Kevin Durant. And who and where? My Kevin, but he was my, <laughs> he was my MVP front runner until he got but hurt. But they barely made it in the play-in. Well, see, because Kevin Durant got hurt, Kyrie Irving played, what, 10 games the whole season. James Harden just said, fuck it, I ain't even trying to play no more. So they had a lot going on down the stretch. So that's how yeah. they got to the play-in matchup. So it wasn't because of KD. It was just a whole bunch of moving parts. Right, right, so, right. So, yeah. Right, that, right. But, yeah, I mean, so no, I ain't trying to buy the Achilles part. So a lot of people talking about, you know, defense and how, how people couldn't play in certain eras and, you know, Because that's been a hot that. topic here lately. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 
you know, I got a I got a clip coming up that somebody says they playing some '90s era defense on KD. Hmm. Kevin Durant hmm. Let's take him is struggling mightily against some physical, what I'll term '90s era defense. He he is having trouble dribbling the ball. He's having trouble holding the ball. He's missing shots, and then when he's open, he's hearing footsteps and missing open shots. He's making Grant Williams look like Dennis Rodman in his prime. <laughs> and Jason Tatum's blocking his shot one-on-one. -on -one. So, Keezy, my fellow light-skinned brother, Chris Broussard, mm -hmm. broke it down like a fraction. And he, yep. and he alluded to what you was just basically alluding mm -hmm. to. Uh, because, like you said, it's, it's a hot topic of who could play back then, who could play from back then that could play now, blah, 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 yakety smackety. Mm -hmm. Boston Celtics in this playoff series are playing 80s, 90s style defense, mm -hmm. and we're seeing the effect that it's having on KD. Kyrie's okay. Kyrie, yeah. outside of the 10 point game, mm -hmm. he's at least trying. Yeah. You know, he didn't have a good game three, but he's out there aggressive. Mm -hmm. KD's not aggressive at all. No. So one would start to think and wonder, could they KD actually play in the <laughs> 80s and the 90s? If he's struggling with this d defense from Boston, mm -hmm. can you imagine what the bad boy Pistons would have done to this boy? Or the Larry Bird Celtics would have done to this boy? So Keith, I, mean, I even do you one better. But can you imagine the job that Dennis Rodman would have done on Ooh, him with really? the 90s Bulls? Pip. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, if, if, if Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and Jason Tatum is giving you fits, then Keezy, floor is yours, man. Go ahead. This is your clip, man. Go ahead. Floor, floor is yours. I mean, I mean, it's going to be a lot of comments on this, I believe, but, I mean, it speaks for itself. I don't even have to say anything about it, really. If you go back and look, what, what, what you 9 got out of 24, uh -huh. 4 17, 6 out of 11, I don't want to be aggressive. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> so, is it the Boston Celtics defense has made him less aggressive, or he is just having trouble finding his spots? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, he can't. He can't get to where he wants to go. Defense. And he can't get to a spot. He's just. And, and they, now, now it's all in his head. He yeah. don't know what to do. He don't know what to do. The crazy yeah. thing is, is that Boston is switching everything. Yeah. And when they switch, they're not losing nothing defensively mm -hmm. because you're switching from Smart to Brown or Tatum or even Grant. Whitman. So everybody they're switching to is is beating him up a little bit. But it's it's easy to guard Brooklyn because you take you take. KD away. That's the main. That's the main threat. Mm -hmm. That's the head. Their plan is to take KD out of the game, that's no the matter head. what. That's the head. We let Kyrie get thirty-five mm -hmm. or whatever, but we can't let Curry do anything. We can't let Patty Mills get going, and they're not letting them do anything. You know what? You're absolutely right. They will live with Kyrie getting thirty. Mm -hmm. They will live with Bruce Brown getting twenty. Yep. Hell, they'll even live with. Blake Griffin coming off the bench and giving you six to eight points out of no damn word, but we'll get to that in a second. That's the best they look the whole series. <laughs> you know, they'll live with all of that, but what they're not going to do mm -mm. is let that man beat them. Not letting that man beat us. They're not going to let that. We're going to pack it in on him, and we're going to double team him, and every time he moves, he's going to get a forearm. He's going to he get gonna, touched. You're going to get, yeah, you're going to get touched yes. because I, initially last night, I thought, and I think I texted this to you, uh, the first half, KD wasn't aggressive because Bruce Brown had it going, mm -hmm. Kyrie was going, so he kind of just took a back seat and was like, okay, that got it going, let me not interfere with what's going on. I figured in the second half, he was going to come out with that thing, mm -hmm. cocked and loaded, nope. 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 And I was like, KD, what? this is it's, it's right there, bro, take over, do you. And he had that look on his face, just like, mm -hmm. Can't do it. And I've seen something happen a few times that I hadn't seen, I don't think I've ever seen it before. Somebody just go straight up and block a jump shot out of 6'11", 7 foot with a high release Kevin Durant jump shot. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm actually flabbergasted. I don't know. I don't know what to think about KD this series. What what's what's next, man? What's what's next for this series? If they down 0-3, I mean, what, what the hell is next? I'm gonna tell you what's next, and you gonna be shocked. They, ben Simmons gonna come back. Nets gonna rally and win in seven. On 2K? <laughs> <laughs> on 2K? Nah, this is over. This is over. It ain't nothing else to really play for, for real. Should Ben even come back at this point? Nah, he's not. He might as well. He might as well just wait till next year and just get himself all the way healthy. Because I can tell you, when your back hurt, healthy. when your back hurt, and oh, you never know, you might make one move and then it go out on you again, you don't want them kind of problems. So he might as well just go and hey, take his time when, off, keep wearing them silly-ass cross-colors outfits, <laughs> sit on over on the sideline. 
Man, so uh, so Ben Simmons shouldn't play in Game Four. I know the reports are he he is, but I don't. I think he should just like you said, shut it down. Um, sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think it's over. I'm gonna say the opposite. I'm gonna say Brooklyn gets two games. <gasps> I'm gonna no say Brick, I'm gonna no say way. Brooklyn gets two games, man. I think Game Four. I think Game Four. KD has a forty ball. I do. I, For him to score forty points, he had to shoot the ball forty-seven times. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta do, bro. I, I I do forty maybe be a stretch, but I see twenty-eight to thirty-five. But I see Brooklyn winning this Game Four matchup. I see them it's th- three-one going back to Boston. Now that Boston game five is tough. Nah, Brooklyn only get one game. <laughs> Brooklyn four four one. Man, it's so it's so hard when you had two games in your pocket that you should have won. Yeah. And now you look up and you down three games. It should be two one the other way. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it should sh- be two one. They should be at home trying to go up three one. Yeah, right at this point in time. So I do. I I just cannot see Brooklyn going out. This Brooklyn team going out being swept. But so so much for T Mac and his comments about this being the most skilled duo. Lord have mercy. I, so but what what that Jordan quote? And I took that personal. <laughs> that's what that's what. So Jason Tatum and J, uh, Jalen Brown said I took this personal. They probably are okay. So they're the two most probably skilled duo offensively. Right. But when it comes to all around skill, they they miss me with that. No, nah, all around skill is a wrap because yeah. Kyrie is not the most nah. uh, gifted passer as a point guard. He's not mm-hmm. looking to set up teams. He's not going to play a, any defense. What's that? Yeah, exactly. There um, you go. And of course, we already know KD. KD can play defense, but can he play defense and offense all game long with the frame that he has? Like that's, that's what that's what happened to him last year. That's a lot on it. That's you know KD's he had to score forty and try to guard Giannis and and Middleton and just and and facilitate and hit the boards. Yeah. Like it's that's a, lot. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. He's only one hundred ninety eight pounds, so yeah. that's a lot on his frame. Um, so two most skilled offensively, the pair. Okay. Overall, overall skills, nah, they, mm, nah. So. Uh, them being down 0-3, thank T Mac for that. Um, Probably Nash got to go. He, oh, he got to go. They might as well now. He let him go game four. <laughs> game four. Well don't, don't he? Look, dog. You uh, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna slide somebody up the bench, and you can go on and you <laughs> do know, what you gotta do. Yeah, go on back to Canada play soccer or something. So, so he ain't even gonna make game four. He shouldn't. What's he doing? I don't know, but I ain't, I ain't seen them run a set. I, I ain't seen them. I told you the biggest adjustment was him putting in Blake Griffin. Look, I see KD stand up by the free throw line. Right. I see the point guard up here. Right. They set a little screen. Right. And then that's it. That's the yeah, offense. That's the offense. That's the offense. <laughs> they don't run no pin downs so for nobody. They don't run nobody else, bro. Patty Mills. You know how Rip Hamilton used to run back and forth. Basically. Patty Mills should be out there running around just like that the whole game. The whole it game. throws everybody else off, and then you got room to do your thing. Drum, what's Drummond doing? Drummond don't set no screen. Lord, if his boy Pat out one more damn rematch to grab the damn ball. He tipped it all the way out. Somebody <laughs> hit a wide open three. What are you doing? <laughs> he tipped it out one time. Grant Williams called it. Bucket. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you got to get him out of there when he's yeah. doing that, bro. Now and you Cla- gotta... Claxton ain't doing nothing either. They got more in that eight minutes from Blake Griffin last night than they got from Claxton and Drummond the whole game. The whole, no, damn, the whole, the whole series. The whole, and Steve Nash on one play I, game four, I would play LaMarcus Aldridge and Blake Griffin. Because at this point, where's LaMarcus Aldridge at? He's on the bench. He can stretch the defense out because he can make a mid range jump that's, shot all day. But that's what I'm. The same thing that Boston is doing with Daniel Tice, they could be doing with LaMarcus Aldridge. They could be doing the exact same thing because that's, you're not going to sacrifice much on defense because Daniel Tice is not a big scorer like that to where yeah. like LaMarcus Aldridge. He's going to get some rebounds. He make, make that little baseline, little jump shot. But that's the same thing LaMarcus could be doing. LaMarcus Aldridge can get buckets, but and we what, know that. But for whatever reason, he's sitting in street clothes. Or uh, warm-ups, I should say. i take LaMarcus Aldridge being able to guard Al Horford. I'd take, I'd take Blake Griffin being able to guard Al Horford. That ain't hard. That's what I'm saying. Al Horford is 739 years old and can't move faster than a turtle. But Robert, yet, Robert Williams ain't no threat on offense. So why not? At this point, you down 0-3. What's, what's, you got you to gotta try something? What's, what you going to lose? What's to lose by playing LaMarcus and Blake out there? Fuck that. Start them next game. Yeah, start them. Yeah, just start them. See em. what happens. What are you going to lose? At least give Boston a different look. Something to think about. Something to think about. Don't don't 
put them out there in the starting lineup. Now Boston is like, hold on, what? Now they got to adjust to what you just did. Then it's a ch- now it's a chess match. Look, you just playing checkers and they just king me. Yeah, king. King me. Keezy, before we get out of here, biggest surprise and disappointment so far in the playoffs. <laughs> biggest surprise so far. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really had a lot of surprises. I'm going to go with my surprise and disappointments all in the same. Brooklyn and yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. They my surprise and my disappointment all at once. Surprise for me, I would say Dallas Mavericks slash Jalen Brunson. Mm, the way that they played the first two games without Luka, even though Luka came back and then they lost the game. Don't know how that happened. But needless to say, um, Jalen Brunson, yeah, he had, what, 30-something the game two and yeah, then followed yeah, it up. Yeah, they had 41 yeah. the next game. So, I mean, I don't know where – and they talking about, man, we need him in New York. I need a lot of shit in New York. But anyway, <laughs> I need a lot hey, of stuff in the That mix. trade for Porzingis with Dinwiddie and Bertans and all that, that was a it's a great trade. Whoever it's, pulled it off, you did a great it's job. It's a great trade, but they need more than just Dinwiddie. Yeah. Luka and Dinwiddie's not winning you a title. No, 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 no. He needs another all-star, star-level type of player to come to Dallas. and then Tim Hardaway Jr. being out hurts, you know. It, but hey, it, it, is is what what it, is. it is what it is. Disappointment, man, you already know. Brooklyn Nets, KD. I'm not even disappointed in Brooklyn because Kyrie's playing, Bruce Brown's playing. They're doing it, they're mm-hmm. playing as good as they possibly can. KD's, I don't know what, I don't, I don't, what am I supposed to do with 11 shots? I mean, I don't know. What am I supposed to do with this KD? Yeah. I, you're not even being aggressive. You're not even looking for your shot. you like, what are we doing, bro? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I, I play, I played a game or two and somebody just had me locked up and I was like, you know what, I'm, Pass it over here. No, 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 hell, hell, hell no. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. If you Chris Middleton, you can do that. Uh huh. If you uh, Drew Holiday, even if Jimmy Butler, you can do that. Mm-hmm. But if you are proclaimed by a lot of people to be the best player in the league, uh huh. No, you can't do that. No, nah. ain't, ain't ain't no here. You get that? No, 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 no. Uh, uh. Uh-uh. Now, other people mm-hmm. get criticized for coming up short in games. Uh huh. So we just supposed to let KD skip out? No, no, no. No, I'll play her. No, I'll play her. Hey, who is these other people? I don't want to say no names because I don't want to get nothing started. Who's these other people? He's, say it. He's sitting at home. That's all I'm going to say. He didn't, <laughs> make, he didn't make the playoffs at all. He didn't make it this year. He didn't make it at all. He didn't make it at all. But if you, if, if this guy I'm talking about uh-huh. was in a playoff game, don't matter the series, mm-hmm. and only took eleven shots, uh-huh. and the team lost. Uh-huh. You don't think you don't think KD's getting enough? Hell no. How much more you want to put on the man? I want it all to come down. <laughs> this is all everybody been talking about. I want it all. I want it. All. And and the same thing with Giannis when he came up short. So now we're about to we're about to be on the the, the cusp. Uh huh. Of we talked about this last show. Kawhi and mm-hmm. Paul George, mm-hmm. disappointment. Disaster. Disaster, mm-hmm. they didn't win nothing. Now we got KD and Kyrie. Mm-hmm. So it seems like it's about to be a disaster. Disaster. Mm-hmm. So you have a disaster and disaster. Hell, that bubble championship ain't looking so damn bad right now. I mean, when you put it like that, yeah, but I mean, it was still the bubble. No, I get that. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah, that, yeah. but I would take a bubble over not over a nothing. damn thing at all. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'll yeah. take the AU championship over nothing. It makes sense, yeah. So, uh, KD and Kyrie, y'all wanted this. Ooh, can you imagine the next coach that holds them accountable, though? They, Kyrie ain't they, gonna better, like get, that. they better get Mark Jackson. That Kyrie ain't going to like that. He I like can't it. help what he like. <laughs> that ain't your problem. When's the last time you won something? That ain't, that's true. Uh, well, get in here. I got to talk that, to you. That's true. But, you know, one thing I have seen from the outside looking in, Kyrie don't like to be held accountable. Nah. Mm-mm. He don't like that accountability shit. No, no, sir. And then KD, I don't, I, he just wants to hoop, so it is what it is. Yeah, I just want to hoop. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That winning ain't really that important to me. We can always try again. Oh, we can year. try again next year. I got my two chips. I got my two rings. I'm good. Which then I'm starting to question that because, I mean, it looks like you ain't the leader of your damn self, my guy. Mm. I mean, you might have been the best player on them Warriors teams, but it looked like somebody else wanted them chips for you. Mm. I ain't saying I don't no. know. He did a lot of damage. He, he there, did dog. a lot of damage, but I know he went to Cleveland and busted somebody's ass a few times. He did. Hey, I ain't you know say what? Name. You hey, you know what? But LeBron held his own. Yes, he did. He held his own. Yeah, yeah. He he was outmatched, but he held his own. He was outmatched. Yeah. 
He had Clay's one of Clay, Draymond, Steph, Clay. You know, he had the whole, whole squad. I'm about tired of Draymond. Everybody talking about Draymond. I don't want to hear nothing about Draymond. Best about defender Draymond. this side of the Mississippi. I don't want to hear nothing else about Draymond. Best defender. He locking up people. I don't want to hear nothing about Draymond. Locked up. Yeah, he's locking up. Jokic. He's locking up the MVP. Have we, have we ever seen the MVP <laughs> candidate go out in the first round? Jokic. I don't know what Jokic's out there doing. He's, he's tripping. Jokic is trying to get back to Serbia. He better he better back he better back little Draymond down score on him. I don't know what he's doing. He came for some reason. I don't understand why. <laughs> <He came laughs> for some reason. Draymond's six five and Jokic is a good seven foot tall and he can't he can't he can't move him. Nah, he can't so, back him down. I don't know if all of that is just just weight or if it's muscle or what. I don't know it's something. Cause he can't move Draymond to save his life, bro. And I'm like, bro, you you at least what six inches taller, maybe five yeah, inches taller. Yeah, he's. I would say. 40 pounds heavier? At least. At least. And you can't, 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 you can't move, move, buddy? Can't move him, Just a little bit? Get can't him off of him. Okay. All right. It's your world. <laughs> Draymond got you locked up. It's all right. But anyways, that's our playoff recap so far. Um, we got the semifinal round that'll probably be going on the next time we get to you guys. And we'll probably give our matchup. It'll probably be your Phoenix and Dallas, um, Golden State and... He got Minnesota. I got Memphis on the other side. It'd be Miami and Philly, and then Milwaukee and Boston. All right, so before we go, real quick. Go ahead. What you got? As everything stands right now. Right here, right now. NBA Finals predictions. Ooh. Two teams. Yeah, see? Uh, going to Gold State from the West. Uh-huh. Only reason I'm saying this is because Book's hurt, and then once he gets back into the lineup, it's going to be... I, I don't I don't know. I don't trust that situation. Mm-hmm. Um so Golden State from the West. East is a little difficult though, man. Yeah, the it's, East is a toss up, it seems like. Because it's it's literally Miami, Philly, Milwaukee, and Boston could all potentially get there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna knock Milwaukee out because of the Chris Middleton situation. Chris Middleton, yeah. So they he, said they said two or three weeks, but I think he might be done. I think he's done. Yeah. What was it? A sprain MCL? Yeah, I think but he, it, yeah, yeah. I, I, even when he does come back, is he gonna trust his knee? Like so, that's that's a lot right there. Um, do I trust Miami? Lowry's hurt. Does it matter if he's Jimmy hurt? Jimmy Butler's up and down. A lot of nice Tyler heroes, the leading scorer off the bench. That's what I'm saying. Like, and then Duncan Robinson had that one great. Like, I, I, then Philly, do you trust Philly? To be honest with you, I trust Philly more than I do the rest of them. And then. Only reason is because of Embiid, though. Do we trust? Is this the Boston moving forward? Or are they just amped for this? Series? You see what I'm saying? Like, I man, they've been on the, they've been on the tear the whole second half of the season. You're right. You're right. So signs would indicate this is who Boston is now, mm-hmm. right? <sighs> but can they take everybody's star player away like that, though? Uh, let's see. If they go to the next round, all things considered, it'll be Milwaukee. Could they do Giannis like that? No. No. Because I feel like Giannis don't doesn't care. He's gonna get his shots up. He's going to the bucket. <laughs> he's, going, he's gonna get his shots up. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think Milwaukee would have enough Without firepower. Those. Yeah. So I would say Boston will probably win this series. Miami and Philly. It's hard for me to say Philly because of their coach, bro. I'm, I'm dead ass serious. Like I just do not trust Doc Rivers in a in a in a in a tight contested playoff series. But then Miami, do I even trust anybody on the team? So that's what makes it so difficult, but just to throw something in the air, Golden State and Boston. Golden State and Boston. Golden State and Boston. As of the way things look right now, I have to agree with you. Just because, Golden State and Boston for the NBA championship. Because Boston can give it to you on the offensive end and the defensive end. And the end. defensive end. Miami can give it to you on the defensive end, but offense is up and down sometimes. Up and down, yeah. Philly. You got James Harden and Doc Rivers. I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't believe in them, too. Until they host the trophy up together, uh-huh. I can't do it. I can't bro. do it I, I can't do it. And then Milwaukee, like we said, to Chris Middleton. So, you going with Golden State and Boston as Golden well? Golden State and Boston. So, I'm going to go with Golden State and Boston. And this might change next week. Uh, of course. Yeah. Of course. But I just feel like as the way today. Boston, the way they're neutralizing KD and slowing down Kyrie, they're the two most explosive offensive players left on the East. If they can do that to them too, they can do it to MB. They can do it to Miami. So, let yeah. me go with Boston, man. Let me go with Boston. The Mayo Doka, shout out to him doing a wonderful thing. Uh, new voice, Brad Stevens. To me, people are like, what? It's the same team. Brad Stevens, I feel like, is a, a statistician, X and O's, technical type of guy. Really wasn't that great of a He motivator. drew up a lot of good sets out of yeah, this. Yeah, like, of that, that's his stuff, thing. You know? I feel like Udoka has the complete package. Mm-hmm. Motivator, can coach. 
can uplift, encourage. I mean, damn. I mean, look at what he's done to Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Got them playing together. Tatum is looking like a monster. And got Marcus Smart, defensive player of the year. So and early in the year, he was talking about they need to pass the ball more. So and here we yeah. are. So, but he was on somebody's staff last year though. Pop. Who? No. Nah. Pop. pop uh, the, who? He was on Brooklyn staff last year. You know what? You're right. So they got Steve Nash when they could have had you know him. You know You're right. He was sitting right there. He was sitting right there. Oh hell! I mean, you could <laughs> you can go to the West Side with the same thing because we had Jason Kidd on our staff, and Dallas Mavericks is in the playoffs and the Lakers. There you are. Y'all. But y'all won a title with your coach, though. Well, that's true. Steve Nash and their coach, little league team. He's right. He's right. You might want. You might want. You might want to go to these college programs first. Get you build your resume yeah. up a little bit. At least coach a high school or something. Because this ain't it. And I know Kevin Durant, Kyrie looking at each other like, bro, why are we signing off on this? this ain't, why are we signing off on this? This ain't. This ain't. I think it. they thought we'd get a guy we can tell him what to do. Now, what they thought was, me and you are good enough. Uh-huh. We don't really care about what he's talking, he talking about because we're good enough to win games on our own. So we don't need him. Yeah. What? What you? <laughs> this the last play that uh, Steve Nash drew up last night. Wait, he's in the huddle. <laughs> That's what that's what last play. That's, 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 like, the, play, that's the last play right there. KD Kyrie, you got it? All right, good. We good to go. And then you make a screen over there. Boom. Yeah, boom. Two points. Game. We in there. <laughs> we in there. But man, that's the How Far NBA recap show. Always make sure you like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you can't can't sit down and watch the YouTube channel on your phone or your tablet, download the Beyond the Game app on your Amazon Fire Stick. Watch it in, in your front room, uh, wherever you watch your shows at. If you can't do that. Listen to it on all major podcast streaming platforms, Google, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to it at, man, you can listen to Keezy Be Wrong on there as well. That'll never happen. Keezy, Keezy that's what I'm saying. <laughs> before, you, before we get out of here. We already said it, baby. I ain't going to be wrong. Yeah. I may not be right, but I'm damn sure ain't going to be wrong. never wrong. But anyways, you already know, man. Treat somebody how you want somebody. Treat your mama. Be safe out there, y'all. We out of here. Peace.